Hi everybody, welcome to Go Hobby. Today we are showcasing the emerald crab. Emerald crabs are an ideal crab to add to a reef tank as they usually do well around coral and other fish. They do a great job of eating a variety of nuisance algae such as hair and bubble algae and help clean the tank by scavenging for uneaten food. The crabs you see here are only about one centimeter in size and in a day they can mow down the algae on a baseball sized piece of rock. Emerald crabs come from the Caribbean waters of the Gulf of Mexico, and they get their name from their greenish color. They have hairy legs and disproportionately large claws. They grow only to about six centimeters, which is about the size of a golf ball, and they live two to four years. They are nocturnal and spend much of the day hiding in holes among the rocks. They emerge at night to chew away on algae and scavenge for other foods. You could try to observe them using a flashlight, but oftentimes the bright lights will send them scuttling back into their cave. Emerald crabs are considered reef safe with some caution. If your crabs get hungry, they might pick on certain coral. Compatibility with small snails is hit or miss. Now fish are usually safe among emerald crabs. However, I would think that very small cave dwelling fish could be at risk if a larger emerald crab were to crawl into the fish's hole. Most fish that are reef safe should also be fine with emerald crabs. However, every combination of animals within a reef tank is to be done carefully and with caution. You may have noticed my dotty back nipping at my emerald crabs and red-legged hermit crabs here. This seemed to be a problem only on the first day the crabs were introduced, which was also the day I recorded this video. Now the crabs hide during much of the day and emerge at night for feeding. Therefore, there's minimal interaction between the dotty back and the crabs. Emerald crabs require water conditions that are typical for most warm water reef fish. Here they are. Emerald crabs are not known to mate in aquarium. In the wild, the male fertilizes the female's eggs by crawling on top of her. The female carries the eggs in a pouch under her body until they hatch. Even after they hatch, she stays close to the offspring until they are big enough to go off on their own. Like most organisms with an exoskeleton, emerald crabs have to molt out of their shells as they grow. The molted shell often is left completely intact with body, claws, and legs attached, which often misleads new hobbyists into thinking their emerald crab has died. Imagine the surprise they get when they suddenly discover the crab alive crawling amongst the rockwork several days after holding a toilet bowl funeral. To keep your emerald crabs healthy, really you just need to maintain good water quality and make sure there is plenty of algae and meaty foods that make it into their diet. Supplementing with calcium, magnesium, iodine, and trace elements is not a bad idea, but probably not necessary if you're doing frequent water changes with a salt mix that already supplies these elements. So there you have it. That's the emerald crab. If you feel the need to add a crustacean to your reef tank and help control algae, the emerald crab can make a nice addition. Thanks for watching, everybody.